Hey guys, I took over a week, and in this video, I have another tweak review uh, for you guys. Uh, this one is called Flux uh, with a period after the F. Uh, it is free in Cydia, so as long as you're jailbroken on an iOS device, you can go ahead and install this for free. Um, I believe it works for every iOS device. Um, yeah, in the description here, it says compatible with devices running iOS um, from 4 to 6, so it, it works with pretty much every firmware out there um, that you can jailbreak. Uh, and because it says devices, I'm assuming it's just any device. And what Flux does is changes um, the display of uh, your iDevice at like night or during the day. It's, it's whatever you, however you set it up. Uh, basically, it just kind of puts over like this yellowish orange like tint to your display, uh, and it looks kind of weird at first, but you get used to it, and you actually um, don't even notice it at all uh, until you turn it off. Uh, if you guys want to check it out in the Cydia store. Um, it is in one of the stock uh, sources in Cydia, so you don't have to worry about installing a special source. Um, you kind of have an, It kind of shows it a little bit here. Um, it shows the iPhone on the left um, without Flux and then with Flux on the right. And you can see it's kind of tinted orange there. Um, and you guys want to read about it or anything like that, you can go ahead and just look it up um, in the Cydia store. And I said it is Flux with a period after the F. Uh, so F period L-U-X. The main, to sum it up, it says right here, uh, Flux warms up your screen uh, to match your lighting at night. Uh, so let's go ahead and give you guys an example of it. Uh, it does come with an icon, so when you install it, it'll be in your home screen. Um, and it'll also ask you for your location settings when you first open it up. Um, that way it knows what time zone you're in. And that way it allows for it to determine when um, to enable Flux. Like at, see, you can see right here it says at night and the daytime. Uh, daytime I have it normal, turned all the way up to 6500K, um, which is normal iPhone display. And then at night it's set by default to 4200K, which is actually exactly where I like it. It's not like extremely orange, it doesn't have like an extremely orange tint over the display. Um, it's just very slight orange, it kind of, which gets rid of like that, the, um, like the blue hue. Uh, that the iPhone normally has, or it's kind of blue. It's just, it's basically, it's way brighter. Um, and the main point in this is just be easier in your eyes at night. And if you read the description of Flux and Cydia, um, it kind of goes into a lot of detail about uh, your sleep pattern and stuff like this. And, and basically, Flux covers up like the blue glow that comes from your phone. Uh, like when you have it sitting in your room at night um, or in the dark anywhere, uh, you'll notice that uh, there's like a blue glow that comes from it pretty much if you kind of pay attention to it and it's apparently not good for your sleep pattern or something like that if it goes into a lot of detail about that um, that's not why I got it though I got it just because it's way easier in your eyes um, and it's just it's just kind of nicer uh, to have so I'll go ahead and give you guys a preview here you can just tap on preview and I guess I'm, there we go uh, so you can see it just tints orange there for a little bit um, so like I said at first you'll probably uh, think it looks a little bit weird or you might not you're probably not going to be used to it um, if we go into the settings panel here, uh, they have settings for it, uh, but basically you, you'll get used to this um, when you won't even notice that it's on um, after a while, uh, but you will probably notice that it's a lot easier in your eyes uh, at nighttime, and there's flux right there. In the app, you can change the exact um, color tint that you want, um, but in the settings here, it just has the defaults, um, and you can kind of check out which ones that you like the most. Candle is going to be extremely orange. Uh, or it's gonna have it's kind of gonna cover up that blue hue like a lot. Um, I just have fluorescent, which is the least amount, uh, just so it kind of it's easier in eyes a little bit, but it's not completely orange to the point where it's just kind of it just kind of ruins your display if you know what I mean. Uh, it just kind of makes everything look a little bit weird. Uh, so that is why I chose flu fluorescent. I'm um, already give you guys the example of it, um, the preview of it in the app there. Uh, in the daytime, I just have it set to normal, um, but you can also change it to one of these that you would like to. You also have the option of a lawn transition, and basically, um, when it comes to when it comes to be nighttime, um, it's not gonna all of a sudden just completely go orange. It's gonna slightly change and slowly change over to the like that orange uh, tint rather than the blue uh, glow that your device has. So it's gonna kind of it's just gonna take a little bit longer to transition over uh, to the different color. Uh, it does. It looks like this um, lawn transition feature is not available for older devices though, because um, it says disabled for older devices. And then this bottom part here, it says turn off um, for color sensitive work. I'm assuming that that's just like the main flux to dis to disable it right here. Uh, if you turn that off, um, just because it says for color sensitive work, I'm assuming they mean like if you're working on your phone or something, uh, you need and you need the phone to have the original color. Uh, you can turn it. You can turn off flux with that uh, right there. Um, oh, in the top here it says uh, you must open the Flux app to set your location. So if you want to set your location to make sure that Flux um, is enabled and disabled at the right time of like the sun going down and up, um, 
you have to open up the app and allow it to have your location. That's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the uh, Flux tweak here um, available in Cydia for free. Uh, I found the tweak to be very useful. Um, I actually got it on my computer as well. I believe it's available for Windows and Mac if you'd like to have it in your computer display too. Um, I, I use it on both of my devices, my phone here and my computer. I really found it to be actually pretty benefiting um, just because it's a lot easier in your eyes uh, if you're working in the dark or anything like that. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I appreciate sure a like down below. It helps me out. Uh, if you want to share the videos and want your friend to know, go ahead and hit the share button down below as well. If you want my future videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, that is found down below as well. Um, or you can click the annotation and subscribe there. Uh, and that will notify you when I release my future videos. I'll have more tweak reviews to come in the future. I'll have jailbreak updates to come. Uh, if you guys want to check out my last jailbreak update for the iOS 6.1.3 jailbreak um, and the iOS 7 jailbreak, um, I gave some information on that. If you want to check that out, go ahead and click the annotation. Uh, and that will take you over to that video. Uh, but yeah, I'll have more tech videos to come in the future. So if you guys want that stuff, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, and that will notify you when I release my next videos. But that's it. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.